Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this week's video, we'll be giving a makeover to this Mexican pine sideboard. Do us a massive favor and hit that subscribe button. Let's go. Hiya. <laughs> this is like a little puppet show. <laughs> Okay guys, this is the unit we're gonna be working on today. It's an old pine, Mexican pine sideboard. It's not in too bad of shape, but we're gonna give it a good upcycle. Our plan is to paint all of it black, apart from the drawers and the top. We're gonna to put some nice dark stain on there. And the first thing that we're gonna do is, Chantel is gonna be giving... <laughs> Chantel's gonna be giving it a good clean with sugar soap, and I'm gonna take off all the hardware. Let's go. Oh, and what we're going to be doing as well is we're going to be taking off the doors and we're getting rid of them and we're going to put some baskets in there. However, there is only one shelf in one of the cupboards, so we're going to have to find a bit of wood somewhere or go and buy a bit of wood. Okay, that's all the hardware off. I'm actually going to take these little black metal stud things off as well because they just look cheap and tacky. So I'm going to get them off. I'm going to try and get them off anyway. Off. Easy. Easy. Okay, Chantel's just got a bit more to clean. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fill all the holes everywhere. And we're also going to fill these holes. So there's a few holes on the top, a few holes in the front. Yeah, and the, the drawer holes we're going to fill as well because we've got some different handles we're going to put on. We need to do, drill two new holes. Okay, the unit's dry now, so I'm going to fill all the holes in the unit and in the drawers. Let that dry and then we can start sanding. Okay, that's all the holes filled, so we'll let that dry and then we can start sanding down. And I just used brown wood filler. It's um, stainable as well, this stuff. So that's why I've used this one on the drawers because we're obviously gonna be staining them. And then for this one, I've just used poly filler. It dries a lot quicker and it's easier to sand down. So, because obviously we're gonna be painting that. But anyway, we'll let that dry for maybe half an hour to an hour. Yeah, and then we can get sanding down. All right, the whole unit is dry now, so it's ready for a sand down with a 220 grit sanding sponge. Okay, that's all the sanding done. We've hoovered it real quickly and went over it with a damp cloth to make sure all the residue is off. And now we're ready for a priming. Before we're gonna go and prime the unit, I'm gonna tape the top up so we don't hit that with our primer because we're gonna stain this into a dark wood. As always, we're gonna be using Zinza Bin Shellac Based Primer. We always bang on about this stuff, but we use it on everything. It is awesome stuff. Anyway, while she's doing that, I'm gonna start cutting in and then Chantal's gonna use a roller and she's gonna roll all the flat surfaces. That's all the priming finished now, so we're gonna let that dry and then we can crack on with the first coat. 
One thing that's very annoying is we've just bought a new camera. We've only got two batteries and we've got a crappy low gig memory card. We keep running out of memory and we have to keep stopping, changing to our phone, clearing the memory card, putting a new battery in. So it's just a bit of a nightmare to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, we've ordered a new memory card and a few more batteries. So hopefully we won't have this problem moving forward. But anyway, let's let that dry and we'll see you when we're gonna sand down and do the first coat. Okay, so it's been drying for a little while now. It's all good to go. So we're gonna give it a sand down with 220 foot sand and sponge and then we can get the first coat of blackjack on. Sanded, hoovered, and cleaned, ready for the first coat. This is the problem with being in such a small flat. It's like we can't get decent camera angles. One thing I would say as well is if you're painting with black, I wouldn't buy white primer. You can get other color primers. I'd probably get a different color primer like gray or something. We just use this because we already had it. Okay, that is the first coat finished. We weren't sure how it's gonna look, but I think it looks all right to be fair. And once it's had two or three more coats, I think it will look pretty good. It is gonna need, like I said, two or three more coats though, which is a bit of a nightmare, but it is what it is. All right guys, first coat's dry. It's been dry for about two hours. We've just given it a quick sand down with a 220 grit sand and sponge like always. And now we're just gonna get the second and third coat done. All right, that's the second coat done. It's already looking a lot better, but it's definitely in need of a third coat. We're gonna let this dry for the rest of the evening and then crack on with the third coat tomorrow, but we're probably not gonna record that because you've guys seen the process now. We'll see you when we polyvine the unit or when we start on the drawers. We don't know what we're gonna do first yet, so. Okay, I did decide to record the third coat, so here's some bonus footage, enjoy. Okay guys, it's time to start sanding down the drawers and the shelf. Um, I'm just gonna be using 220 grit sanding sponge. I've got a 180 here just in case the filler won't rub down, but we'll try the 220 first. Then we can start putting the stain on. So we're using Ron Seal wood stain, it's a walnut color. We're gonna do all the drawers, the shelf, and the top of this. So yeah, let's go.
first coat done. I'm gonna leave that dry for four hours, come back and do the second coat, maybe a third. Don't know yet, we'll see. Okay, so while the top and the drawers are drying, I'm actually gonna start polyvinyl. I'm gonna do two coats, sand it in between. I've already given it a light sand. Um, and then after that, it's just put the handles on the drawers, put it all back together, and then the final results. Let's go. Hey guys, I'm gonna start putting the handles on now. We've got these little black handles. I'm gonna pre-draw some holes and then screw them in. Also, I've marked out where the holes need to go. Okay guys, so here are the final results. We're really happy with how it's turned out. Let us know in the comments what you think about this makeover. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. And as always, we'll, we'll catch, catch you on, on the flip, flip side. side. Bang 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 b